What's up everybody, this is Scott with 512 Garage and I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna to be meeting up with a very good friend and photographer, Jerry Kiefer. Now Jerry uses a very special technique called light painting when he photographs automobiles and it is a stunning effect. Now I'm gonna let Jerry explain more about the technique but essentially we're gonna put the C7 in a very dark environment and take multiple exposures of the car with the camera on a tripod using only one single light source. And then Jerry's gonna take all of those exposures, bring them into Photoshop, and only choose the layers that he wants. And the result, again, it's gonna be stunning. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for Jerry's contact information if you're interested in having him light paint your car. And you might wanna wait till the end of this video so you can see exactly what Jerry does to the C7. It's all shined up over in the garage. I'm gonna wrap this intro up, head on out, meet up with Jerry, and uh, yeah, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss this one. All right, guys, welcome to Total Detailing's future home here in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. We have this awesome space for Jerry to get to work and light paint the C7. So he explained some of the process to me uh, just now, but we're gonna move the camera closer to the car so you can see exactly, uh, well, maybe not exactly, we gotta keep some of Jerry's tips and techniques a little secret, but um, we're gonna give you a first-hand look on what it takes to light paint a car. All right, guys, so I'm actually working the shutter on Jerry's camera as he walks around with the light, and um, he tells me to open it as he's moving the light, the shutter, that is, and then he uh, asks me to close the shutter when he's got the light over the car the way that he wants it. And I think we're gonna do another one right here. Now he can instantly see, and so can you, exactly what he just did with that light as the camera shutter was open here. I don't want to take the view away from him. <laughs> but man, those soft, that soft lighting across the car just looks amazing. All right, so the camera shutter is open the entire time Jerry's walking across the car with the light, and this is the result. Now what he's gonna do is take multiple shots, layer them all together in Photoshop, and only choose the, uh, I guess, the layers that, that you want to come through. Right, Jerry? I'll paint in, that's why it's called light painting, because I'm actually painting with a light, and then in Photoshop, I paint into my image the parts of the image I want to keep. Like that's really nice right there. The whole thing looks like a keeper to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shooting photography since, uh, since I was in the Air Force, which is I guess 30 years ago. I was shooting with film, Canon AE-1, and I was primarily shooting landscape photography. That was about, about all I got into. Um, then I started going in more of a professional direction, and I started shooting families and high school seniors and got into, I've always been in the car since I was a little kid. Yeah. Just the Hot Wheels. Yeah. I, <laughs> so That's right. I got started getting into shooting cars and going to car shows and shooting cars. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do not just car pictures, I wanted art. Yeah. Something that somebody is gonna be proud to hang in their living room and their wife isn't gonna complain that, oh, look at this car picture. <laughs> I wanna set myself apart from other photographers by doing something different and doing something I love. All right guys, so we just repositioned the car and repositioned the camera on the lift. And this is the shot here that Jerry is sort of composing, um, which is a great angle of the C7 because you really get to see the back and also the top, and especially on the Grand Sport Z06 wide body vets, you can see uh, those wide fender flares on the back. So these are gonna be killer shots. Oh, 
All right, guys, we are shooting now the rear three-quarter view of the car, and this is the result here. Real nice soft lighting across the back. <laughs> that is an amazing shot, Jerry. Talk a little bit about what goes into making that composition with all of those different layers. Well, it's kind of like putting together a puzzle. I'm gonna look at all those layers and I might shoot, I may have shot 500 pictures today. I'm gonna to call through them and I'm gonna pick out the ones that are most likely gonna fill in my puzzle in Photoshop that I like the best. I'm gonna color correct them, get, export them, get them ready, and then I'll start building in Photoshop one picture at a time. We were talking a little bit earlier about the post process. How, how long does it usually take after you get those images into Photoshop? How long do you usually spend on that final image? Depending on the scene, anywhere from eight to 12 hours. That's amazing. That's an amazing amount of work. All right, so Jerry is setting up for the final shot. And yeah, I'm holding a GoPro in my right hand just so I can get you guys, you know, a couple different angles of what's happening over here. But let me head over here and show you Jerry's setup. And what he's really trying to do is when you look at the back of the car, so this is a live view of what his camera is seeing. He's trying to get these mirrors to pop up evenly over top of the rear spoiler. And this is all of the small details and hard work that actually goes into a final shot. And, uh, you know, a guy like Jerry really takes the time to set these shots up right. So the final product is awesome. Oh, okay, so I shouldn't be filming this. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so Jerry is behind me doing a top secret technique on the back of the C7. So I'm not gonna be able to show you everything he's doing back there, but um, rest assured, the final result is gonna be awesome. Guys, if you wanna see the images that Jerry took, the final images of the C7, you're gonna have to head over to his website, keeperphotography.com. Keeperphotography.com, or I'll probably, they'll end up on Facebook or Instagram first. And so where on Instagram can, and Facebook can people see your photography? I'm just at Jerry Kiefer, J, at, with a J, J-E-R-R-Y-K-E-E-F-E-R. -E -E just at Jerry Kiefer, and same thing on Facebook, um, Jerry Kiefer Fine Art Light Painting. It's where you can see uh, a lot of the stuff that I did. Beautiful, and we're gonna put links down in the description so you guys can jump over to all of his social media sites and his website so you can see this car and uh, this red one that's behind the camera. But I wanna thank Jerry for uh, taking the time to shoot the C7. If you guys are interested in having your car light painted by Jerry, link down in the description. Thanks so much. Jerry, you're like a ghost. Why aren't you showing up in any of these pictures? Because I'm magic. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>